Welcome to Log10 Pro for iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and Mac. In this short video tutorial, we're going to show you how to track simulator time in Log10. We'll start by setting up the simulator aircraft type in the aircraft type section. Double tap the logbook tab and then tap aircraft types. Tap in the search field and start inputting the sim type you want to track, B736. Now, to enable a log 10 to distinguish between types, you must give the simulator type a different name than the actual aircraft. So we add sim and hit the plus create entry button. Then the only detail we need to add here is to set the category to simulator. Done. The simulator field is turned on for most roles. If you don't see it, you can turn it on by tapping a flight in your logbook, then tapping the actions button in the top right, tap configure fields, Scroll down to the Time section and tap Configure Section and turn Simulator to On. Also be aware that if you fill in the simulator time and then hide this field, the data is still saved and shown in the Analyze tab in your logbook. If it's not already visible, we also recommend turning Entry Type on in the Flight section of your logbook. Again, tap the Actions button in the top right, then Configure Fields, then tap Configure Section in the Flight section and turn Entry Type to On. We can now log new entries as simulator duty using this field. So for example, when we log a simulator flight in the B736 sim, we start by creating a new entry in the flights and duty section of log 10, choose simulator duty in the flight section, then we tap aircraft type, and in the search field with my types chosen, type B736 and choose the sim. Then we can add in the details for the simulator session. Of course, if you have any questions about this or any other feature of Log10, please don't hesitate to contact our fantastic support team direct from Log10 by tapping Contact Support under Account. Thanks for watching.